This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on their Web Development 2 course. I'm on level 6 JavaScript back to back. Goals Villagers must survive. Eliminate the ogres. Expand your code's pop possibilities by using else. Else is just like if, except it contains the code that should run if the condition is false. So, what's happening here? If enemy. If there's an enemy is what we're checking. So, we're asking the computer does enemy exist? Enemy must be a variable Variable we already declared. If so, we're going to attack the enemy. If the computer says false, enemy, nope, then what the computer says is okay, and it would always skip the code in the if statement, and then it's going to automatically run whatever is in the else statement. However, if there is an enemy, the computer says yes, true, enemy. We attack the enemy, and it skips everything in the else statement afterwards. Let's see what we're doing. All right. So we have this variable enemy that we make. We then ask our hero to look around and find the closest enemy. If my hero looks around and finds nobody, enemy equals nobody. And so that's why we check. We're asking the computer in our if statement. It's like if enemy. Does it exist? We're saying if the enemy exists, the computer's going to check. Uh, true, it will say. Yes, there is an enemy. Enemy does equal something. Okay. Then it will, if it says true, it drops down and we're going to want to run the code inside of our if here, which is attack. If the computer, if my ear looks around and sees no one, enemy equals no one, well then it says if enemy, the computer says false, enemy doesn't equal anything, it then is going to skip the code in the if and automatically run anything I have in this else statement. Okay, so or move, the else will not run though. If there is an enemy, if there is an enemy and we attack, it skips the else after we attack and keeps going. Uh, let's read this comment here, right? Two slashes is a JavaScript comment. It's tips for programmers. When the computer runs code, it ignores it. Or move back to your defensive position. Oh, so what's this X at? So it looks like 4034. So move X, Y, 30. Was it 40? 40. 35, we'll say. Let's try that. Oh, perfect. So this is what worked for me. Again, in the if statement, I just did what it said. I added this attack enemy, and then I want to move back to my defensive position if my if statement isn't true. If this is false, we're moving. If it's true, we attack, skips the else, and then either way, we loop again. Awesome. Let's keep going.